turn on your notification bell, you will still get those information you are looking for. Thank you. Biafra militant strikes, kill soldiers, hoist flag. That is according to a report. Yes, that the Biafra Nations League, you know, there are so many arms of this uh, agitation for Biafra. It's not only IPOB, that's mistakes some people are making. That's why we try to, you know, make sure that we we'll, we'll educate the international community on these issues. You know, when you hear Biafra, I've done this. Biafra agitation, or I've Biafra agitators, I've done this. Many seems to say, is I think that is a IPOB. IPOB is the leading Biafra agitator. Yes, IPOB is the leading. It's a, it's like it's a household name. Uh, that is every Biafra is an IPOB. That's the point. But there are militant groups. Yes, there are militant groups. Those who are studying for Biafra, in a different way, different. Way. This BNL now is in the coastal area. Coastal area. They are also are studying for Biafra. For, for freedom, they want to be separated from Nigeria. They want to pull out of the contraption. And so there are various arms agitating for the same cause, the same Biafra, but with different methodology. So the methodology of IPOB is not the same with uh, others. And we have said it, IPOB is like, it's a household, IPOB is the is uh, like the name Ibo, IPOB is the, like the name Biafra itself. So this is a militant group now, BNL, so we should not misconstrue it at all. It should not confuse us in any way. It shouldn't be anything like, uh, you know, ambiguity. It is crystal clear. That is, you have BNL, you have IPOB, you have Majob. You have, oh, that, that just, there are many, there are many, many of them are there. Many of them are there. And so, this BNL, they are more, they operate, you know, around coastal areas. That's why they operate. So, from the report, they carried out strike and they killed soldiers of Cameroon, Cameroonian soldiers, two Cameroonian soldiers. You have seen it now. They said this thing happened at Ekang on Niger's borders at about 5.55 a.m. on Thursday when the operatives of, operatives of the Rapid the Intervention Battalion, BAR, opened fire a few kilometers away. They said this BFA militant returned fire, killing two BAR. You see? That is this rapid the intervention battalion. They killed two of them while one of them sustained bullet wounds. That's according to the report. They said they proceeded back to Abana waterside where the Cameroonian flag was. They shot sporadically before bringing it down and hosting the flag, flag around the pole. You've seen it. So they succeeded, succeeded in hosting the Afra flag in that location in that location this happens the in the border you know around the border of nigeria and cameroon all right around the border we have said it ekang this is ekang ekang the flag was hoisted at abana waterside abana waterside that's where the Afghan flag was hoisted you see so that is what we have been saying and I have a highway. And I have a filling station. That is it. So that is why the international community must take this thing serious. They must take this issue of agitation seriously. Because uh, the IPOB cannot actually be everywhere to direct people to be calm, to be civil, to carry out the agitation, you know, in a peaceful and civil way. IPB cannot be everywhere across the Biafra territory to do that. 
Because you have seen what the government of Nigeria has done to the people of, of the Biafrans, the Igbos. You know, the wickedness is too much. Yes. If not that the wickedness is too much, the whole Biafrans, the whole Igbos will not come together and say we want to pull out of the contraption. And so people are responding in diverse ways. Then the main issue, talking about the government's refusal to release Mazin Amdekano, as the competent court or court of, of, court of competent jurisdiction have ordered. How many months now, since October 13th, that judgment was given? Government has refused that nobody would do anything. In a country where the president, where those who are leading, they disobey the directive of court, you know, they abuse the, 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 the laws of the land. They have the penchant to, dis, to disregard the, 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 the laws of the, of, of, the, of the land. What do you expect? What do you expect others to do? All right? And so that is what we are seeing. That is what is happening. And that is why the Nigerian government has no moral justification to, uh, to accuse anybody of disobeying the law. Yes, to accuse anybody of not obeying the law, because it is open, it is obvious, Tom, Dick and Harry can see it, that the Nigerian government is not obeying the law. Even the little children, they are aware that their government is not obeying the law. Yes, because they are among the people who were jubilating and saying, oh, they received the news of the, you know, the, 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 the court that declared the union free blameless, you know, and all spurious allegations leveled against him and discharged and acquitted him. The school children, they don't go to school on Mondays, so they're not happy about it. Now, when they hear that, look, Ojindu has been released, they were all happy, jubilating, that alas, they were going to school on Mondays because of the suit at home that was, you know, you know, the people of the South Asian declare that they have to be obeying it. Every Monday, they will sit at home to protest the contradiction of Onyandu. So people say, look, the school children, we are happy that, oh, now they can be going to school on Mondays. And what is happening now? So they are aware that government is not obeying the court order. That's what we are saying. The children are aware because it affects them in one way or the other. Not even, it affects them directly this time around. And so when it is obvious the entire, the, the entire country, they know that government is not obeying the law. What do you expect will be happening? That's what we have been saying. IPOB cannot be everywhere to tempt people, to tempt them, tempt them, break, you know, barricade them. Do not uh, act in a violent way. The IPOB cannot be everywhere. They can only issue statements and direct people to remain calm. All right? But government is putting fuel in the region fire.